Check it out. Check it out. Come on, you got this, girl. Yeah, you got this. Yeah. Hi guys, this is Olivier and I'm here with my sister and we are, we are attending this kickstart weekend in Summerland where we were just about to have some people getting baptized here and the Lord has done really beautiful things amongst, uh, amongst his people yesterday and uh, our sister here has lived something very personal with the Lord. Would you be open to share a little bit what happened? Yes, so a couple years ago I uh, ended up in the hospital and it had, uh, it had, it was, it was wrong what had happened and it was, it left a lot of emotional damage and I had a lot of hate a lot of anger I was weighed down I was burdened I just felt like I was ready to snap at anybody for anything at any moment and then yesterday because the ABA and the team they prayed for me they prayed with me and I was delivered I no longer have that weight I no longer have that that burden of of hate, I don't feel anger, I don't, I don't feel any of that, I just feel calm, I feel peace, and I feel joy, and I just want everybody to know that this is real, and, and thank you Jesus, because I haven't felt like this in two years, it just, it's, it's freeing, it's liberating, it's, it's beautiful, thank you. And as much as for the, the emotional part, I remember you were saying also that you, uh, to this incident, you got some damage in your lungs and you no longer really have deep breathing and yep. running. And what happened with this then? Well, I have, I, I did, I ran around the room. I did a couple laps. That was kind of fun. I've never, I haven't been able to do that in a while. And then yesterday when we went out and prayed for people, we were speed walking down the road. I haven't been able to do that either. Praise God. So yes, I was speed walking and my lungs felt great. I was even paying attention. And I even have enough courage that I didn't have time yesterday or last night, but I am going to make time in the next couple of days to drive past the Penticton Hospital. But I think I can do it. I've got this co yes. newfound confidence that I can drive past it. God bless you for this. Yeah. So. So that's meant to encourage you guys out there. The Lord is uh, is is working, and nothing is a uh, Lord's proof. <laughs> So it's we amazing. thank him for what he has done for, for our sister. And if you, if you need prayer as well, uh, whether to be healed, if you feel a broken, you know, broken situation, you feel this, uh, this hurt, this unforgiveness, this, um, this, uh, this hurt and rage maybe and anger, the Lord can set you free. You don't have to carry this burden. Actually, he wants us to be completely free so we can live in this peace, joy, righteousness in the Holy Spirit, which is the kingdom of God. So I hate the anger. I also heard voice. There's so many negative voices. Mm that came with it like was telling me you know this isn't good enough this isn't right you know this person's bad this is mean they're you know everyone's out to hurt you and like all those negative voices also came with the burden of the hate and the anger the torment and now they're gone they're gone it's, praise the lord it's peaceful in the head hallelujah so God bless, God bless you guys out there. Reach out to some local disciples around you. Be prayed for if you're stuck in a situation like this because there is freedom in Jesus. God bless you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.